it might look weird separate but when it's all together it makes sense this video is going to be a little bit different because i'm experimenting with some things for example i'm experimenting with the camera right there hey so uh, i am experimenting with my webcam which is uh, above my laptop if you haven't seen the video about my uh, my my setup then please be sure to watch that of my office vlogging setup um, but right now I'm actually talking to my Mevo camera which is on a tripod uh, sort of perpendicular to my webcam camera and what's really nice is it has a uh, facial recognition, so it's actually going to follow me. And if I walk around, it'll actually follow me as well. I'm actually going to be staying put. And I am actually using the microphone that is over there, so the audio when I'm looking at the Mevo might be a little strange. But I want to be able to show you a couple things for when I want to experiment uh, with different angles for showing you products, right? So in this YouTube channel, that I'm trying to grow in 2017. I, I plan on having a lot of products to talk about. Hopefully companies will be sending me products to uh, check out and maybe recommend, maybe uh, tell you to avoid, um, <laughs> things like that. And, and so I wanted to show you um, some of the things I'm experimenting with. So I have this tabletop tripod from Really Right Stuff. This tripod, which you see, this tripod, uh, it actually goes quite flat. I talk, I'm talking extremely low to the ground. Now, Really Right Stuff has redesigned this since I purchased this tripod. This tripod, the model is actually the, let's see if it even says it, yes. It is a TFA-01. Now they've redesigned it. I think they now have an option that actually is taller. Um, but what they did is they also have this, this tool which is called the uh, MTX tool and basically uh, inside is a bunch of little bits and allen keys. These are actually designed to work and adjust and, and tighten the really right stuff tripods, all of their tripods. So what they did with this tool is it's extremely strong. It has a tripod thread inside and a tripod thread on top. I can go ahead and I can take their tabletop tripod I can untwist, carefully, untwist the legs, and then I can put on the MTX tool, which again doubles as a toolkit for adjusting the tripods. Then I can go ahead and put this on, and now I have a tabletop tripod that is a lot higher. Now why am I showing this to you? I'm showing this to you because I can go ahead and I can take this, which is from Me Photo, and I can slide it into my Arca Swiss ball head on this really right stuff, really right stuff tripod. And now I have an iPhone mount on a tabletop tripod and I can do vlogging if I want to. I can even go like this and I can start doing some vlogging walking around like this. It's kind of like having um, a much more expensive but rock solid uh, Gorillapod. Now Gorillapod is meant to, is designed to go and wrap around legs and things like that. They're not very sturdy. They sort of collapse. And Casey Neistat actually has a video showing how they just sort of shrink down and collapse onto a table. Um, but the nice thing is that this is a tabletop tripod that will not move, it will not budge. It actually has some good shock resorber in it. But then also, I can go ahead and I can um, use it and like hold on to while I'm going, use the legs as sort of a weight on the bottom. I can even spread it out to sort of to equally distribute the weight and angle it towards me or away from me. I can adjust the how the phone is mounted in here. I can have it portrait or vert or landscape or whatever I want to do. I can do it all with this. Now, um, I also have a glyph, I think that's what it's called, coming in that will allow me to mount an, uh, an iPhone um, in a different way because it will actually allow me to hook up something that has a tripod mount on top of it. For example, to use a microphone or a light. Now this is actually a um, uh, Loom Cube. Now I I don't really use them. I have two of them. 
once charging. I don't really use them so much because I don't find that the app works so well. Really, this is designed to be a flash for your iPhone or your Android. So if I turn it on and then I can go, right? Now, I, I <laughs> yeah, uh, it is a flash, except that it, 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 it doesn't work so well. It's also waterproof, which is nice. It's not waterproof when you're actually charging it. There is a built-in rechargeable battery. Um, once you put this back in and cover it, it is waterproof again. Um, but the nice thing is that it does work as a solid light. So I can go ahead and I can light myself or my subject, whatever I'm doing. I'll do it over here. I can light whatever I want using this. And it also has a dimming feature so I can dim it or make it brighter and I can shut it off. So it's a great product. It is also tripod mountable, so I'll be able to mount it on things. Um, and yeah, so the last thing I wanted to show you is that I am hopefully, and this will be hopefully one of the products that will be sent to me to use and share with everybody about how it could be a good vlogging uh, camera for when you're out and about. The Panasonic HC VX870. Now let's go to the screen so you can take a look at this camera. So here we are and on the, I'm on the Amazon site and you can see this is a very compact camcorder. It's not a still camera that happens to do video. It is actually a camcorder. And it does have this, uh, a stereo mic in there. I, I, I probably would not, I would not use it. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use if I do wind up receiving this camera to, to use. Um, and it does have a cold shoe mount that actually slides into the back right here. This shoe adapter, it slides right in. So if you want to do an external mic. Um, and it is 4K, which is a beautiful thing. So it is a 4K. Now Panasonic, if you were not aware, they make the best mirrorless cameras with 4K. Absolutely the best. It's not a full frame, it's actually a cropped and micro four thirds sensor. So the sensor is smaller, but the video quality is phenomenal. Uh, and the focusing is phenomenal, the autofocus. So it's, this camera actually could be the ideal vlogging camera when you're out and about. Um, and it does look even better with, <laughs> with the lens hood on, um, so it, which is pretty neat. Now, uh, I did say that it has a cold shoe adapter. As, as you can see, there's a, a slides in right here. And what I would be doing if this, if this actually is sent to me to use uh, and review and whatnot, I will be using this. This is the Rode Video Micro. Now, I could do the Rode Video Pro, but uh, this camera is so compact that it might actually extend beyond the front of the lens. There's also the Rode Video Go, but when comparing, I've seen videos, an audio test comparing the Rode Micro to the Rode Video Go, which is a uh, slightly longer, and actually the Rode Video Micro had better results. It does come with a dead cat, which is nice. The dead cat is this fuzzy thing that blocks the wind. And it does have the shock mount, which goes into a cold shoe, and a removable cable, which is nice because some of the others do not have a removable cable. So if I do wind up receiving, oh, and by the way, this does work with an iPhone. If you have an iPhone with a, uh, a microphone jack, which the new iPhones do not, the 7 and 7 Plus do not, um, this will work. I think this will also work with an iPhone 7 uh, or 7 Plus, uh, 7 Plus if you're using the lightning to headphone jack adapter, I think it still works. Um, but as you can see, here it is on a Panasonic Lumix and it is quite compact, even without the, so if you're inside, you don't need the dead cat. If you're outside, you want the dead cat to block out some of that noise. And the advantage of having this is it's, it's called a shock, um, it's called a, a shotgun mic. So it's only recording di whatever is directly in front of it. It's not recording anything on the sides or anything like that. So the, um, the sound quality is very precise and it's actually really, really nice. So that is the video, the Rode Video Micro. Uh, and then this again is the Panasonic uh, 4K camcorder that I will hopefully be using in the future to do more videos that are out and about. So thank you for watching. Um, this has been just a sort of informal vlog video. This has no specific purpose of education or anything like that. Um, just to show, sort of show you what I'm up to, things I've been researching, think plans that I am hopefully putting into action. 
and to be able to create more video content for you, for you, uh, in many places, in different angles, and yeah. And by the way, um, I really can't stand the closet door. I'm not doing anything about it because it's just a closet door. Uh, I'm trying to think of something I can do that this, I, I, my office is in a bedroom in our house and, um, I could hang stuff, something in front of it, but I want to be able to take something down easily. So I'm still trying to debate what to put in front of the closet door that's temporary. I'm thinking just a background stand or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure on it yet. Still working on that. Um, but yeah, this has been very, just a very whatever video. <laughs> just want to like, share this with you, share what I've been up to, and I hope that you appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe.